There are other sites besides eBay and Amazon to sell them that can still get you some decent money. Hey, it's Don. I get asked a lot on where we sell, what we do, what other platforms are out there. Depending on what you actually sell, there are some other sources besides eBay, Amazon, and Etsy to sell on that can still get you some pretty good money. Some items we sell on other platforms, we get as much, if not more sometimes, than we would on eBay or Amazon for the same exact item. Let's hop over and look at a few items we sold on HIP right now. So here we are on HIP, and these are just a few of the items I've sold in just the last couple days. Now, I do sell multiple purchases to the same person, just like on eBay. Now, this is HIP's postcard platform. They also have HIP Comics and HIP Stamps. I pretty much mostly use the HIP postcard platform because I've got so many items in this category. Now, just because it says postcards in the title of the platform doesn't mean that's all you can sell. These right here are trade cards, Victorian trade cards that also import. There are many other categories besides postcards that will auto sync from eBay into HIP. There's nothing really other than clicking a few buttons to get all your listings onto other platforms in many cases. Now, I actually have almost 18,000 listings on this platform, so I have a quantity up. So we do get routine sales off the platform. It's not like, uh, say, Bonanza or something where I've had tons of people tell me they've had thousands of items on the platform for a year or two and haven't sold a thing. We actually do get routine sales from this platform. So it is a viable means for us. Discogs is another one of those platforms that is a viable platform as well. Again, it all comes down to what you have up and quantity for most other sites. Now, are sites like this going to be able to compete and get you as much income as you would off of eBay? The answer is probably no for most of these sorts of things. Now, HIP also, as I said, has a stamp platform. I have heard from people that they are doing more on HIP stamps. And these are people that I've talked to for quite some time than they are doing on eBay selling stamps right now. Again, it depends on what you have, what you list, what you listed, and how much you're charging for it on each individual site. So those are all factors here. This item here I've had up on eBay for almost four years, and it didn't sell. It was imported into HIP a couple months ago, and it's now sold. I took an offer on it, which falls into my price structure. So I've got a pricing structure I use for everything where I won't go below a certain point. So $15 for this card that's been up for four years that I have nothing into is perfectly fine. The same person bought more than just this card from us as well. They also bought this same card, which is from the exact same set of cards as the one I just showed you. This one also sold for 15 bucks in the very same day to the same person. This person bought close to $100 from us at the same time on one single day on HIP. So there are other platforms out there that can garner you some sales. eBay still is the heavy hitter in these sorts of categories, but it does garner us good extra money coming in on a monthly basis by listing stuff like this on other platforms. There are other places to list this. Stuff like this will honestly sell on Amazon as well, believe it or not. As long as you market it correctly, you have some good titles, some good images, you can do that as well on other platforms. Etsy, another example of where you could sell if you're only on eBay. There are many other places to sell on. Don't lock yourself into one single platform. If something happens to your account on one platform, you won't have any backup for anything else. You could lose your listings. Always have a backup of all of your listings. Here's yet another one, again, the same trade card series, this one 15 as well. And one more from the very same series. Again, it's a four card set. The person bought all four cards from it. So right there is 60 bucks just off of these four cards. There's nothing extra you have to do for these sorts of things. If you've got it linked up with another site, whether you're using Shopify or a direct import like this one here on HIP, 
there's nothing you really have to do once the items are listed on another site other than to ship them out. It's the same process you do on any site. You have to ship it out. The shipping is pretty much the same. We ship like international or more expensive items like comics or something if we would be using Hip Comics through PayPal because you get paid in PayPal directly immediately through Hips, any one of Hips platforms. Now I do have an affiliate link down there in the description box and in the comment section that will give you three free months of access to this site. I have used this site for a year and a half. I could get a commission though if you use those links to create an account and have certain amount of products on their platform. They're not paying me to say this. I honestly and sincerely use this platform and these are true and honest sales I've gotten from this platform. I've shown many other items that I've sold including videos on just items I've sold from the platform like this too. So there are many options other than Amazon, other than eBay, and even other than Etsy out there. This is just a few examples and this is just just from the last couple days. Here's another good example here. This is an Arbuckle Brothers coffee card. Now I've sold a bunch of these. Usually I get eight or 10 bucks. This one went for more than I would have sold the same card for on eBay or even Amazon for that matter. So sometimes if you're careful on your pricing, you pay good attention, you've got good images, you've got some quantity of images, you know your items with the great title and all, good SEOs, keywords and all, you can do very well on other platforms. So just another example of what to expect if you do branch out. Here's another example. Now this one had been sitting up on eBay for quite some time. It did sell for 22 and some change. So if you have your items on different platforms, you have other options to sell them. Each platform has a different base set of buyers, basically. Now, some cross over from one platform to the other, but the more platforms you are on, the more people will see your items. I would rather have more people see them across more expanses of the web than not. Just confining all of your stuff to one single site, one single spot, is narrowing who's going to see your items. Not everybody searches for items just on eBay. Many people will go to a Chrome search to look for items. They'll go straight there and type in what they're looking for. eBay may not be the first result that shows up in those listings. Could be a Shopify listing. It could be something like this. So you've got to do diligence to make sure that you're hitting as many people as you can. Why do corporate American big chains get so much sales? Because they are all over the place. They broadcast over over either through stores, their accounts, and through advertising. If you can't afford or you don't want to do advertising, getting your stuff out onto other places like Discogs or something if you're selling records is a good start. Records can also be sold on Amazon. There's not just one source for almost any collectible out there. Stamps, for an example. You've got eBay, you can sell some on Amazon, you've got Hip Stamp, and you've got Dell Camps, which is another stamp site as well. So there's a lot of different options for most anything. Now, some of them will be specialized sites like this one here that will sell a certain amount or certain type of items. There's nothing wrong with that. There are even smaller niche sites out there. There's one that only sells railroad collectibles. That's all they sell. They have auctions so many times a year. They have some open pages. There's still yet other ones that only sell, say, buttons, ladies' buttons and uniform buttons. That's all they deal in. They also have sites that you can list or that they sell individual things like a storefront also. So there are many other options. You just have to dig into them. Don't always blow something off because you don't think it's going to be practicality. I would always recommend at least trying everything out there at least once. If it doesn't work, you got nothing to lose. You just end the service and you move on to something else. It's just that simple. You got to be careful and smart with what you do. If you're not growing as everything else grows, your sales could be affected by it. A lot of people move to other platforms and do other types of searches these days. Same goes for like a phone search comparatively. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends.
dull and commonplace occurrences of day-to-day -day living, one thing stands out as a completely unique experience. Colt 45 malt liquor.